Hello and welcome back to Chichester City Highlights, where today we take a Merston at Oaklands Park. The lads have been looking to bounce back after a tough result on the weekend, losing 3-2 to three bridges. A quick look at this sides then, as Chai looks to be playing a 3-5-2 formation. Oli Munt has given his start as Ethan Pritchard drops to the bench. Jimmy Wilde leads the line and Chai's captain today is Connor Cody. Merstam start the first half here under the lights at Oaklands Park. Brilliant challenge there from Clark. Wild leads it for Clack, who shifts the ball out wide to O'Brien. He finds Clack on the penalty spot. Oh, Clack goes down asking for a penalty. It's waved by the referee. The Merston keeper claims the ball. A good move from Chai. Clack maybe could have got a shot away here, but positive signs early on from the home side. Both sides have really struggled to get a foothold in this game, with the visitors resorting to Route 1 and Chai struggling to penetrate the Merston back line. Clack beats his man. Out to Bello. Ball played in. Munt. God, it's a good move once again from Chai. Munt, unfortunate there. Not to direct his header on target. Senior for Merston now. Dunn looks to put the number seven under pressure. But Senior does well to come away with the ball. Reverse pass back into Senior from Greenwood. And that's a great block there from Emmett. A brilliant bit of recovery from the Canadian. Rob Hutchings into the Costa. McGee goes long and finds Clack. Munts with a lovely ball over the top for Bello. It's a great touch. Can he get his shot away? He can, and he finds it in the back of the net after a helping hand from the Merston defender. A brilliant passage of play from Shai. Started with McGee and ended with Bello. And credit to Wally Munt, who played a wonderful ball over the top to put through Bello. Chai go up one in a half of not much action. Merstam's goalkeeper seems to be taking his time with this one as the seconds tick away. And there it is, Chichester City 1, Merstam nil at the break. A late goal from Bello to see Chai go into half time ahead. Hopefully this game begins to heat up in the second half, as both sides are really struggling to create chances. But Chai on the front foot so far this evening. And we're back underway for the second half, with Merstam straight out the blocks, looking to put pressure on Shai. Wild is unfortunate there and is dispossessed. Ball played in behind. McGee comes flying out to deny Collins, but it falls to Greenwood. Will he shoot? He does and well. I have to give Greenwood credit for that one. McGee I'm sure will be disappointed after that, as despite him clearing the ball, his goal was left wide open. Greenwood took advantage. And now we see a triple substitution for Chai, as O'Brien, Dunn and Munt are replaced by Moore, Honoré and Jammer. Hopefully the substitutes can inject a little bit of energy into the side, with the game now tied up at 1-0. Senior is dispossessed by Moore and looks to drive at the visitors. Clipped into Honoré. Deflected behind for a corner. Positive signs here for Chai with the two substitutes combining well. Hutchings swings in the corner. Cody is up and it's off the bar. After scoring at the weekend, Connor almost made it three for him this season. Bello now, bringing the ball forward for Chai. He is clack in support but looks to drive at the defenders. Ball and jammer. And well, that would have been one for the highlight reel. Mo's acrobatic attempt flies wide of the target. But Shire asking questions of Merstam late on here. Can they find that one opening that they need? Into stoppage time now. Will Chai have one more chance to secure all three points? Wild flicked onto Clack. And oh, he can't quite direct his shot on target. What a way to win the game that would have been though. McGee has to go along with seconds ticking away. And well, there it is. The referee blows his whistle for full time. It finishes 1 all at the end of 90 minutes. A cagey affair throughout with both teams struggling to find more than one or two openings in each half. Bellows fantastic touch and finish at the end of the first half and Greenwood catching McGee off his line. 
the only two goals for you today. A fair result, I would say, but a point nevertheless. Interviews with both Sammy and Rob Hutchings are also available, so do be sure to tune into them to hear their takes on the game. We return back to Oaklands on Saturday to take on the Wasps. East Grinstead Town at 3pm. So do be sure to come down and show your support as the lads will look to build on today.